Apostle Paul journeyed to when he was blind? I didn't know Apostle Paul was here. Remember, after that bright light had blinded Paul, he had a vision that he would meet a man by the name of Ananias, who would cure him of his blindness. Wow. Now, you have to remember, Ananias wanted nothing to do with Paul, who had been killing Christians. But Jesus had spoken to Ananias and asked him to cure him of his blindness. And did he? Or was Ananias too scared of Paul to do his bidding? Despite Ananias' fears, he put his hands on Paul, and suddenly, he could see again! And you're saying this all happened here? Yes, in the very city of Damascus. It's so amazing to visit places in the Middle East. There's so much history layered in every nook and cranny. Lydia, Tina, the map to the museum says the Copper Scrolls of Qumran should be in this very room. Cool! Um... Are you sure it's this very room? Yeah, it says right here. The Copper Scrolls of Qumran are located in the Ancient Wing, where we are right now. Uh-oh. Thank you for showing me around the museum, Ms. Mustafa. And I'm so grateful that you're taking proper care of the Copper Scrolls. Of course, Dr. Carter. After you pointed out to me that the Copper Scrolls were getting tarnished with age, I immediately sent them down to the Restoration and Conservation Center. Well, the last thing that I would want would be for the Jeez. Copper Scrolls of Qumran to deteriorate. I couldn't believe I didn't see the worsening condition of the Copper Scrolls with my own eyes. I'm so happy you pointed them out to me. So, how long do you think the scrolls will be unavailable to the public due to the restoration work? Such work like that could take years, Dr. Carter. Oh, ho, ho. did you hear that? It could take years. Thank you very much, Ms. Mustafa. I'm glad to be of assistance. Just so help. Oh, picture time. <laughs> You, you. Oh, spit it out, Professor Evans. You did this on purpose. Oh, what, what a coincidence to see you here. That's Co a strange coincidence. <laughs> what a c coincidence. Y I don't know how you knew I was going to come here, but you knew I was going to examine the Copper Scrolls next, and you made sure I couldn't see them. You wanted to see the Copper Scrolls? I had no idea. <laughs> Too bad they're going to be unavailable to the public for a couple of years. I guess you'll need to hold off on your little treasure hunt. You! You! Hey, Uncle Alex, let's go look at the legendary swords of Damascus. They're a lot more interesting, I promise. Listen, Alex, I know you're upset. I'm upset too. But we're going to have to keep our cool if we're going to beat Dr. Sam Carter at his own game. I know. It's just, how do we do that? If we can't access the Copper Scrolls, which are the key to the map, then how are we going to move forward? Actually, I think I found a way around this. What do you mean? Well, after hearing that Sam managed to get the Copper Scrolls put away in the restoration area, I looked into ways to actually view that particular wing of the museum. And what'd you find? Let's just say that we have a private tour of the restoration area tonight. We have an appointment to see the Copper Scrolls of Qumran. 